please subscribe to Face TV Africa and turn the notification on. Face TV Africa, Ejo, e subscribe, subscribe, eh, hete. Face TV, Uswobi. So it is about the monarchy being recognized, constitutionally recognized, by which I want our monarchs to start to bear and be good role models for our people in Nigeria so that they can trust us and then power can fall back to our place and we can work together with this country. Because politicians need somebody to always check and balance. They need check and balance and the only people that can do it are we, the royal fathers, that can do the checks and balances of this nation. We can see so much corruption in the land. So where are we heading? in this kind of democracy. If there is nobody to check politicians on corruption, on bad governments, on everything. So we want to prepare things for this world. And uh, I have seen that dream that we're going, we're going to be constitutionally recognized. Either they like it or not, politicians cannot, they can't stand alone and do this. And we, as kings, especially me as a paramount ruler, we are being relegated, and everything falls on us. In our towns and cities, every problem of the town falls on the kings. Even security and everything. Government cannot handle security. Government cannot handle everything that comes. Infrastructure growth, bringing development to the towns and cities, everything falls on the kings. So, we have seen this one, and we are working on this. And this is uh, and that's why the code of kings. The code of kings is to tell kings how we should be, how we should do ourselves, how we should get prepared for the next generation of our new found democracy, which has been king. kings. It must ask Code of Kings, can, you can see that that can, that spells out itself already. The Code of Kings. In Lama, these are the guidelines. How to prepare. Because what we are saying now, kings are relegated to and uh, we want respect for our monarchies and we want them to actually represent culture and tradition and not a uh, side of all made religions of some people. Kings are representative of God and earth. Kings should not bow to any other thing other than their creator that owns them. Tradition and culture is how we breed, how we wear our clothes. It is not about religion. I am the custodian of tradition and culture. Religion starts from the palace. That's what we are telling the kings about the code. There's a lot in the code of kings. History, culture, the real culture and tradition. And um, today, we see many kings they are, they are looking, they, they go to churches and mosques where prayers are being made. But where is prayer being answered? That's where we have to ask each other. The only place where prayers are being answered is the authority of that's the palace. We are shared. We are bound. We are in church. So, this is we will see many universities report to come and uh, talk to them. So I recommend it to academics. It's about our history, it's about our real culture, it's about our real tradition. And that is what it is. And it's about future and future, which I'm preparing many things. Thank you.
When you challenge the status quo, when you came to reform, people have to face it. We are the first one to be attacked. So I'm not prepared for that. I don't, I don't get worried about that. I'm prepared for that. It is time to be as a reformer. Thank you, thank you. Please subscribe to Face TV Africa and turn the notification on. Face TV Africa, Ejo, e subscribe, subscribe, eh, hete. Face TV. Oh, Swoobie.